Whether it's fat burners, testosterone boosters, pre-workouts, or BCAAs, stop wasting your hard-earned money on worthless supplements that aren't gonna do anything for you. Because the truth is, if you're a man over 35, there's only three supplements that you need. And we're gonna cover what those are and why they're so effective in this video. But if you're wondering who I am and why you should listen to me, my name's Doug, I've been a personal trainer and a nutritionist for over five years. And I help guys over 35, just like you, to get into the best shape of their life. I personally take all three of the supplements that I'm gonna talk you through today, and I recommend them to my clients. All right, first up, we've got creatine, and specifically creatine in monohydrate. This is the gold standard when it comes to creatine supplementation. And if you're a man over 35, this should be at top of your list. Now, what does creatine actually do? Well, the good news is that it's one of the most well-researched supplements on the planet and has been proven time and time again to boost muscle strength, power, and performance. As you get older, your natural creatine stores start to decline, which means supplementing with it becomes even more important. But creatine isn't just about muscle growth. Newer research has actually shown it supports brain function and can improve your energy levels. Plus, it helps with recovery, which means you can push harder in your workouts and stay consistent without feeling drained. I personally recommend taking 10 grams every day. And yes, I know that is a little bit more than the standard recommendation of five grams, but particularly for men over 35, it means you get the most out of it. You don't need to overthink this. Take it first thing in the morning with water. There's no need to cycle off it, and you don't need to worry about a loading phase. Just take it consistently every day and you'll start to see and feel the results in as little as two weeks. Next up, omega-3s. Specifically, you wanna be looking for a fish oil supplement with high levels of EPA and DHA. These are two key fatty acids that your body can't actually produce on its own, so supplementing with them is essential. So what does omega-3 actually do? Well, to start with, they're incredibly important for our heart health, which isn't something we wanna be overlooking as we get older. They also reduce inflammation, which can help protect your joints. And like creatine, they've been proven to improve brain function, making sure that you can stay mentally sharp as well as physically. So when should you take it and how much should you be taking? Well, personally, I take three grams per day and I split that dose equally into three parts, taking one gram in the morning, one gram at lunch and one gram with dinner. Because you see, taking it with food helps to improve the absorption. If you don't get enough fatty fish into your diet, then omega-3 supplements are a complete no-brainer. But even if you do, they're not gonna do you any harm. And omega-3s are so important for guys, particularly as we start to get a little bit older. And that's because they counteract a lot of the things that we start to become prone to heart issues, joint pain, and cognitive decline. Omega-3s tackle all three of those head on. Plus, as an added benefit, omega-3s have actually been shown to help with muscle building and fat loss. And that's because they help to keep our body in an anti-inflammatory state, which is key for growth and recovery. Lastly, but certainly by no means least, I wanna to talk to you about whey protein isolate. This is the simplest and the most efficient way for you to hit your protein goal. So what makes whey protein isolate better than regular whey? Well, firstly, it's more refined, meaning it contains fewer carbs and fats, but more importantly, it's also absorbed faster by your body. And this makes it perfect for post-workout recovery when your muscles are crying out for nutrients. Again, like all of these supplements, you really don't need to overthink this. I'd recommend 25 to 30 grams in a shake. The best time to take whey protein isolate is after your workout when your body's primed to absorb protein and start the recovery process but you don't need to worry about having your shake 12 seconds after you finished your workout. It turns out the anabolic window is much bigger than we previously thought it was. So why do you need it? Well, you don't, to be completely honest with you, but the chances are you're not getting enough protein into your diet, or you're certainly not getting enough high quality protein. And as I said right at the beginning, this is the quickest and most efficient way to get that into your diet. Most guys should be aiming to have at least 0.8 grams per pound of body weight, or at least desired body weight. What I mean by that is this. Let's say you weigh 200 pounds right now, but you want to weigh 180. You want to be aiming for 0.8 grams times by 180. So in that example, it'd be 144 grams of protein per day. Whey protein isolate makes this easy, especially if you're busy or you don't just want to be eating a ton of chicken. Now I buy all of my supplements from a UK-based company called Bulk, but this video isn't sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by them, and I'm not going to give you an affiliate link to their website. I just want to be transparent with you. In fact, that's one of the reasons that I like Bulk. They are very transparent. If you go on their website, which again, I'm not going to send you a link, you can go and look for yourself. They're very transparent with the ingredients that they put in their products. And what's cool is along with my protein, they've come out very favorably in lab studies that have looked at the quality of different supplement companies. But like I said, I have no hidden agenda here. Buy your supplements from wherever you want. 
I don't care. I'm just telling you what's worked for me and what I recommend to my clients. Anyway, that's the video. If you liked this one, then you might like this one where I talk you through three simple ways that you can boost your metabolism. 